What's up you guys? Welcome back to another off -road Outlaws video. Now as you can see right here, a lot of you guys have actually been asking me how to put the side by side in the bed of the truck. So for today's video, I'm actually going to show you guys exactly how to do this. Now it's not very hard at all. It's just a few, you know, simple steps that you got to do in order to get it into the bed of the truck. Now I'm pretty sure that it only works with this truck right here. I could be wrong. You could probably use other flatbeds. I'm not really sure. This is the only truck I've tested this with so far. I did actually try to put a four wheeler in the bed of just like a regular truck and it didn't work. So I don't know if you're going to be able to put like, you know, a side by side or let's say a four wheeler because that's more realistic. You know, I actually don't think a side by side will fit in the bed of a truck no matter what on the game. So yeah, even if it was possible, I don't think it would work just because the side by side is so much bigger, you know? Like I said, a four wheeler, I'm pretty sure won't work in the bed of like a regular truck, but it would probably work in this truck just fine right here. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried the four wheelers yet. I've only tried the side by side, but I may try, you know, a few different things in today's video and to just kind of see how that works real quick before i show you guys how to load the side by side and up just just listen real quick now the map we're on right here is the whistling diesel ranch of course you guys all may know this ranch right here from whistling diesel's videos and all that now this map will be released at 30,000 subscribers i think right now we are only 300 subscribers away from 30,000. so you guys let's let's just take a minute everybody right now all you out there watching this video let's go together right now well well i guess i can't do it but you know because it's my channel but everybody else out there right now look if you like my channel and you enjoy my videos just take the time you know and hit that subscribe button and turn on your post notifications if you make sure they are set to all then when i post a video you guys will be notified immediately now with all that being said you guys i guess that means we we're gonna drive the truck around a little bit right here that way you guys can kind of see you know me drive it and another thing I wanted to say is that the side-by-side -side will slide out of the truck. So you kind of have to be careful. But as you can see right there, it's actually got the truck squatting just a little bit. That's not actually how the truck sits, you know, without anything in it. So once you actually do put the side-by-side -side in the bed of this truck, it will squat some. Now, like I said, you could experiment with different trucks and see if you could get it in there. I'm not really sure if it would work, but we know for sure that it works for this truck. Let's see if we can drive this around right here. And just kind of do some cruising. Well, we, we know we can drive it around because of yesterday's video. But look at there. See how it's sliding already? You have to be very, very careful or you will lose the side by side. See that? And when you kind of turn. So, yeah, you have to be really careful or else, yeah, you will lose the side by side. If only, you guys, we could have like some little ramp system and you drove the side by side up into the bed of the truck and then was able to like put one strap on it. You know, just something simple. Just like one strap and then it would hold the side by side in place that would be really cool like imagine how neat that would be now i guess we'll try to make the side by side fall off let's see here yeah see i'm pretty sure it actually stays on sort of good but yeah as you can see it did go sliding off there so yeah as long as you don't go really fast and then turn really sharp and little stuff like that you will probably be able to drive everywhere with the side by side on but like i said you are just going to want to be very careful or else you will make the side by side fall off you know like we just seen right there let's go ahead and hop over here i guess you'd call it like the yard we're gonna go over there and then i'm just gonna show you guys what you will need as far as you know getting the side by side here and little things like that so let's go over there all right now we are here i just kind of wanted to explain this you know in further detail so here you want to start out with your truck you can make your truck look like whatever you want you know you don't have to copy all of this as long as you have this truck right here i'm pretty sure you're fine and this is the only truck i've tested so far i mean i actually did test one other truck but you know that was with a four wheeler and it didn't work and it also didn't have a flatbed so maybe you could just put a flatbed on other trucks and then try this out. I'm not really sure. Let me know down in the comments if you guys experiment with this with like other trucks. And let me know what happens because I'm curious too. Now, you want to go ahead and have your truck here and your side by side on your trailer. And then once you have all this ready, go ahead and go to the map you want. Now you guys are probably like, how would I do that? Well, that's what we are doing today. I'm going to show you guys exactly how to do all of this. So let's go ahead and go to play here and go to my map. Now here we are guys on my map. One thing I would probably do to this truck if I were you guys is to put rear steering on the truck because this thing does not turn very sharp at all. I'm actually going to be putting rear steering on this truck pretty soon, you know, just to help it kind of make sharp turns. Now you can use probably any part of my map. This is just the part I actually ended up using for the video. So what you're going to want to do 
and you can probably do this so many different ways as long as you have like a ledge or something to drive off of you should be fine now i'm not saying you have to do it in this order you can do it any way you want just as long as you get the truck like down here like this and let's see here i think that will be good right let's kind of can it back up a little bit no that that'll be good right there let's go ahead and drop our trailer and back the truck up right there all right so maybe we can get it a little bit straighter so we have the truck there now we're going to swap the vehicles now the trailer can sometimes get in the way just a little bit so maybe we can move it out of the way let's see here let's see it may actually you know what and two if you use the little free camera you can actually get like an overhead shot and help you line everything up so let's kind of get that trailer can we get it out of the way all right yeah it's kind of moving out of the way but it doesn't even really matter see we just kind of drive very slowly into the truck just like that okay now you see it's not in there very good and if you go faster into the bed of the truck, then we, you probably wouldn't have this problem. But in case you do, here's how you fix it. So you can see the side by sides like kind of hanging out. And you know, it's not really in the truck very good. Now, if you actually go up, let's see, let's see. You kind of need to bump something very, very slowly. Like very lightly. Let's see. Bump this just a little bit. Look at there. So we bumped it just a little bit. And now we have the side by side in the truck completely. And another thing you can kind of do, see how it's on the left side of the truck there? Yeah, be careful going on different little hills. You can just kind of turn and see that? You can kind of turn kind of sharp and slide it. See how we're kind of turning sharp there and sliding the side by side? Okay, look. Look at there. So now we got the side by side completely in the truck. And let's see, maybe we can go for a little drive. So long as we be careful, we should be okay. But you don't really want to try to climb any hills like I did say. Because then the side by side will fall out. But let's see here. Maybe we can actually cruise around my map. Let's see. We just need to find some good flat roads. And then we will be able to, you know, haul this around. Let's see. Let's kind of get the side by side. Okay, yeah. I'm, I'm throwing it around right there. All right. Yeah, I don't think we're going to be able to climb that hill without the side by side falling out. So let's kind of go around here to where it's flatter. And let's see. Let's kind of turn very slowly because the side by side is already on the left side. It's trying to slide around. See, it actually stays pretty good for how it's sitting in there, you know? Because it's just sitting in there kind of loosely, I guess you'd say, kind of sliding around. So, in order for it to stay as good as it is, I think that's pretty cool. So, let's see here. Kind of cruising around like this. Okay. Now, see, I'm pretty sure you could actually go kind of fast. I'm just kind of being careful because I don't want to lose my side by side right now. But I'm pretty sure you could go pretty fast. Yeah, look at there, you guys. As long as you don't give it a lot of gas all of a sudden and cause the side by side to fly out the back, I think you'd be pretty good. Let's see. Can we kind of cruise around? I'm going to see how long I can make the side by side stay in there. Let's see. I'm going to kind of put this to test. Yeah. See how we're going kind of fast right there? Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay. All right. All right. Now, look. Look. If you guys do this, you want to kind of bump a tree again. See? Or just something solid. There we go. Now, we need to bump it one more time. Let's see. Okay, be very careful or you will lose the side by side. Remember, guys, now we're going very slow. You don't want to go too fast because if you go too fast and hit something, then that's another way to make the side by side fly out. And you don't want to do that. You know what, you guys? I think we should try to ramp this truck over my house and keep the side by side in at the same time. Now, the only thing is, I'm pretty sure when we go up the ramp, we may lose the side by side. So, yeah, but hey, you know, we'll give it a try. Oh, goodness. We got to be sure we don't turn too sharp here. Let's just make a slight turn. Look, you guys, if I had the rear steering, I'd be able to turn so much sharper. We're actually going to be putting that on the truck, like I said, very soon. All right, we're going to try this. I don't know if it's going to work. It's already kind of hanging off. We're going to try to send the truck in the side by side flying over my house, but I don't know if it's going to work. Let's see. Oh, it actually stayed in. No way. There's no way, you guys. It actually stayed in way longer than I thought it would. Let's see. Let's get this back right. Hey, I'm surprised. Are you guys surprised? I am. I did not think the side by side would stay in the truck that long. All right, you guys. There you have it. This is how to put your side by side or possibly full wheeler. I'm not going to say for sure yet, but you may be able to put your full wheeler in the bed of the truck. I'm not really sure. I haven't tried that. All I know is that you can definitely put your side by side in the bed of this truck right here. But like I said, you guys, you could try this and experiment and just see if you had any luck with any different trucks, any different like side by sides and full wheelers. And, you know, just let me know down in the comments and I'll be getting back to as many people as I can and kind of, you know, chatting with you about all of this. But anyway, you guys, if this video did help you out and you did enjoy this, be sure to like 
comment, and subscribe. Turn on those post notifications. Make sure they are set to all the way you don't miss any of the videos I upload. Now, remember guys, we are so close to 30,000 subscribers. So come on, hit that subscribe button and we will be releasing the Whistling Diesel map. I plan on streaming that like the day we release the map. We're going to be, you know, live streaming it. And we'll just kind of do like an open lobby and have everybody come out and hang out on Whistling Diesel's branch. I think that would be really fun. But anyway, you guys, I'm going to end this video right here and I'll see you guys in the next one.